thank you so much for supporting pollinators. I'm going to show you how to put your pollinator house together. First of all, get your parts here and lay them out so the little numbers are corresponding to each other. You can see here three matches with three, two matches with two, and so on. And then it's a case of dry fitting the parts together. And it is an upcycled product, so you'll see various different blemishes on the wood. We've included sandpaper if you do want to give it a touch up at the end, but it's up to you. So fitting all of these parts together, like that. And next, in your screw pack, you'll notice there's one long screw. Put that aside, that's for hanging it on a wall. You'll also notice there is a square driver bit. That goes in your nifty tool, which is also provided. And then you simply grab the screws, press them into the, the uh, holes, but give them a little bit of a, a push, which, um, and a bit of a twist as you go, and that just starts that screw biting into this soft, beautiful, western red cedar wood. Putting it in, turning it around. Then go around and do all of your screws. Stopping when the screw head's just proud. It may be easier to turn it on its side to do some of the screws. Squeeze it tightly together so it doesn't fall apart. Roll it over. You can also use a drill if you want to speed things up a little bit. Be careful not to over tighten. Next we're going to fill this area full of the bamboo tubes for the little pollinators. Make sure you pack it nice and tight at the top so that it holds all of these tubes in place. Before you put the roof shingles on, you can fill this area with sticks and leaves, mulch from the garden, or even a bit of mud if you want to, because different pollinators require different habitats and we've got these holes in the side to allow them into this area. Next, grab your roof shingles and line up the hole so when the screw goes through, it'll go right into the roof gable. Same on the other side. Lining up that screw so it's nice and central. Put on your ridge cap, line it all up so they're all in line. Then you can start screwing down your roof shingles. And that's it. You can touch it up if you like using the sandpaper provided. So this is where you can seal the wood with your favorite timber oil, or you can leave it natural like this and it'll go that beautiful silvery color outdoors. So you can either place it out in your garden or if you plan to hang it on the wall, we've included this longer screw which goes into this keyhole here. Now, to make it hang nice and square, we've also got another screw positioned down here so that it hangs 
nice and square to the wall. So you want to screw that in till it's about the same level as the roof proud of the box. So leave it sticking out like that. And now we're going to hang that on the wall. So being careful not to tip it over or your handiwork might fall out. So there it is. You can watch and enjoy as little pollinators move in, take up residence and raise their young right in your new little pollinator house. But more than that, get out in the garden, start creating habitat for these important little furry friends that we all completely depend on.